Well, Barbara, we will do a very particular experiment because we will attempt, somehow, to recreate a seance of the late 1800s. To do this, we will use some pictures of a family from the late 1800s. We will have these characters. Alexander, who is the father. Helen, who is the younger daughter. Elizabeth, who is the mother. Catherine, the older daughter. And Edward, who is the husband of the older daughter. So here we have five people. Only one of those people died in a tragic way. And you, in this experiment, will play the role of the medium. So your objective is to have contact with one of those characters and understand who is the one who died in tragic circumstances. To do this, we will use an object that belonged to that character that you obviously don't know. So we will do this experiment. Like all the seances, there will be two phases. The first phase is about choosing and the second phase is about invoking. I'll give you this watch and I'll ask you to position it on one of these characters, as you wish. Helen, are you sure or do you want to change? I change. Ah, okay. You choose. Elizabeth, the mother, are you sure? Yes. Or do you want to change? No. That was the phase of choosing. Now, at this point, as I told you, there is an invocation phase. So what you should do, as they did in the seances, is to say, Elizabeth, if you are there, give us a sign. Elizabeth, if you are here, give us a sign. So if it's really Elizabeth to die in tragic circumstances, there should be some sign that indicates it. You didn't choose Alexander. No. And you didn't choose Edward. You didn't choose Catherine. And you almost chose Helen, but you didn't. The picture you chose is Elizabeth. And if she is really the one who died, tragically, there should be a sign to reveal it. And in fact, She's the only one with the blood stain on the back.